Welcome back my book besties. For today's video, I am going to be doing a reading vlog. The way I used to be, I am really, really, really excited to read this book. I've heard so much good things about it. If you don't know what it's about, a girl, her name I believe is Eden. She gets raped and it goes through each year in high school. So four years, it goes through each year and basically how it affected her i think a lot of people are saying it's really really sad so i don't really know what to expect but i have really high hopes for this because i have been needing to read a five star book and i haven't read a five star book in such a long time but i have really really good feelings about this book try to do this spoiler free if there is spoilers i will definitely let you know just in case you haven't read the book. Since I've been tabbing now, I am thinking of maybe either using these two. Actually looking in the camera, I think I like this vibe better rather than this one. Thinking maybe like these top colors would be kind of cute. I don't know. I haven't mastered the whole tabbing situation yet, but let's get into the way I used to be. <laughs> greasy it's like my hair washing day and it just feels so gross i read the first 24 pages right off the bat the first few sentences and i'm gonna read a bit for you because it got me I don't know a lot of things i don't know why i didn't hear the door click shut why i didn't lock the door to begin with or why it didn't register that something was wrong don't know how long I lay there afterward, telling myself, squeeze your eyelids shut. Just try to forget. I love how the author describes everything. So after it happened, the next morning when she woke up, Sunday morning comes, pots and pans clanging against the stove. Food smells seeping under my door. Bacon pancakes. Mom's coffee. TV sounds. Dad's weather channel. Basically, like this is her waking up the next morning and she's noticing all these sounds and just how normal life around her still is when her life just completely changed. I can't wait to read more. <laughs> freshman year portion and I'm a little bit into her sophomore year portion and the freshman year so like right at the beginning of the book it gets right into it and mentally Eden knows that she has to tell someone but 
there's a bunch of different factors that come in on why she doesn't tell someone. She calls herself a nerd. Like she wears glasses, she's in band, and in school, she basically gets bullied. Really, really sad. I don't, ugh, so much emotions in this book. Freshman year is basically it happened and her trying to process it at the same time and trying to understand it while she's also going to school and getting bullied. So now I'm on her sophomore portion and she basically wants to change herself. She wants to, she's like, why is this happening? Like, I'm tired of getting bullied. Like, I need change. She decides to like change her appearance, goes into sophomore year looking totally different, which gives her confidence. And then kind of like meets this guy, he asks her out but she's very hesitant on it, really just scared. Like she doesn't know how to feel about liking someone that way. Really don't hope it's a dare because that would literally just break my heart. So far he's been really, really sweet and I like him. I like him, what's his name? I forgot his name already, Josh. I think his name's Josh. I just wanna keep reading and see how she does process this because I, I want this for her. Like, I want her to fall in love. Guys, I am literally just speechless. I don't even know what to say right now. I have read more. I just want to cry. <laughs> oh, like, I have so many emotions right now. Finished her sophomore year portion, and I am about to start her junior year so part three her sophomore year did not end at all how i expected it to and i don't want to say too much because i really don't want to spoil anything if you're gonna read the book i don't want to hear anything go ahead and skip to the next section before i told you guys that she had started talking to this guy josh and he was the jock and everything. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Since Eden never wanted to open up and be honest, she didn't want a boyfriend. So technically they weren't dating, but they were together. He just got fed up or he just couldn't grasp and understand her on why she didn't wanna like date him. You know, his thought process is, is she, out with other guys like why is she trying to hide us she basically would rather lie and not be truthful about her feelings towards him because she does really care for him and she does really like him if not already love him but she would rather lie about that to like protect herself and so she basically told him like no i don't care about you and they broke up. Her brother ends up coming back from college. And first of all, Kevin comes back. He talks to her. Very disgusting. And I hate, I hate men. Honestly, I love her older brother. So far, he's very protective and like very sweet. Like I love that. But obviously, he doesn't know the full everything that like went on, right? He goes after Josh and he actually goes fights him. And first of all, Josh gets another girlfriend, which is a very upsetting, like what is happening here? And also Josh's friends try something or like are just bullying Eden, but like in a very disgusting manner, very hardcore invested in this book right now. And I'm like rooting for Eden to end up with Josh. And I just want them to be in love and be happy and I just want everything to be good in her life. <laughs> I did not expect this book to like do this to me right now.
I have a lot of thoughts. I'm very overwhelmed with all these thoughts and emotions and I didn't think that I would be this invested in all the characters and I didn't think that this book would take a toll on me like emotionally and like mentally. Overall, Overall, I am giving this book a 5 out of 5. I really, really enjoyed it and I would recommend it to anyone. I think the author did such a great job relaying how someone with trauma can respond. And I think it's really, really hard to not get aggravated with the main character, Eden, because you're almost like, girl, what are you doing? Like, you know you're not supposed to be doing that. What are you doing? Or like, you should do this. But again, it's portraying how someone with trauma can respond. And I think she did an amazing job showing that. I wish there was a little bit more closure maybe at the end of the book. I feel like that part at the end maybe was a little bit rushed. I wish there could have been a little bit more details on like her friends. She did get closure with Josh and her brother, but not with her parents, not with her best friend. So I need maybe a little bit more, but if you don't know, there is a part two to this book coming out in November. So I'm really, really excited about that and to get a little bit more closure maybe on that end. If you don't care about spoilers, then you could stick around to hear my full honest thoughts on like certain things that happen throughout. But if you're gonna read the book, then I would click off now. So if I recall correctly, because I already forgot what I read, it happens every single time. I don't know if that's just me. I really just finished this book and I don't even recall exactly what happened. But in part three, I feel like part three, mm, it wasn't giving as much as maybe the other parts. Okay, it was there, did it need to be there? I don't know. But she kind of just starts to get more like her rebel stage, going out and drinking and doing all of that. And then part four really gets into the ending and more the closure at the end of what happens with everything. Cops and stuff find out about Kevin it's because this other girl from his college, he like did the same thing to her. Everyone was really on Kevin's side, like he can never do this. But the cops were like Amanda, like we're here to ask about Amanda, which Amanda is Kevin's younger sister, which I was a little confused if he did something to Amanda too, like his sister, or if Amanda just brought up, um, Eden's name which she does say like I, I'm sorry like I brought up your name I felt like I needed to and she never like says anything that like oh he also did it to me so I don't know if I was like confused on that end I think I took it as she was just telling the cops but Kevin also told Amanda that they just slept together because they wanted to sleep together and that's why amanda hated her all throughout the book which i kind of got that vibe but i don't know why he would tell his sister that also josh at the end of the book i can't i can't i love josh so if you know me garrett graham from that series right here off campus series is my number one book boyfriend i don't know what it is about mr graham but he he does it all right but i don't know something about josh i think he is right up there next to graham even if i like love a character they might not stick around in my mind all the time, but I always go back and think about Garrett. And I feel like Josh is gonna be one of those book boyfriends that I always think about. But I love Josh, he is such a sweetheart. And at the end of the book, he actually, so he's in college and he has like a girlfriend now, but he still comes back to Eden to like be there for her. Like he's straight up and honest, like I have a girlfriend, but like I still care about you. Like I still love you. Like I'm always gonna love you. 
basically it kind of just like left it at the end with no closure i mean he she told him he was very supportive about it but then it kind of just like ended there like yeah we're friends we're good we're there for each other but then that's it so kind of frustrating on that point also like with steve i haven't really talked about steve actually at all but steve was friends with eden and mara when they were freshmen but then when she wanted to like stop getting bullied and like she wanted to change herself she stopped being friends with him and then i think in junior year he like pops up again and he looks a little bit different and they kind of start hanging out but like mara's like I don't like you like I don't want to hang out with you because I don't like you and I don't want you to get the wrong impression but Mara really wants to hook them up and they kind of like make out a little bit and like have their own little thing which I feel like was kind of irrelevant because it was like so short it's like okay if you're gonna do a whole scene with someone right i feel like you need to do a whole like i need the bigger picture like what's happening here but there wasn't an there wasn't enough to that overall i really 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 loved this book and like i said it was honestly an emotional roller coaster but i loved it like i could say honestly i feel like i have a lot of thoughts but like my thoughts aren't coming out so if I made no sense, I apologize, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment down below if you want me to do any other reading vlogs because this was my first one. I don't know how it went. Let me know if you enjoyed it or not, what I could do differently, and I will see you guys next time.